Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chetanya Snurya and today we have the greatest news. The benchmarks of the Exynos 9810 inside the Galaxy S9 are out and they are truly great. So here are the benchmarks and as you can see that this is G960F which means it is the Galaxy S9 and has 4 gigs of RAM as shown. So as you can see the benchmarks are really impressive with 3700 in single core score and 8800 in multi core score. That is some next level performance. And not only that, the benchmarks of the Snapdragon 845 inside the Galaxy S9 are also out. So the benchmark shows the result from a Galaxy S9 Plus with 6 gigs of RAM and it is good. But they are not as good as the Exynos 9810. The multi-core score is 8300 which is not great but it is close enough where the Snapdragon 845 feels underpowered is the single core score by just scoring 2400. But do keep in mind that benchmark alone does not show for a real world usage and I am sure that both the variant of the Galaxy S9 would feel close enough in real world performance. But nevertheless, benchmark shows that the Snapdragon variant is lacking behind from its Exynos sibling. There are some new leaks that confirms that the Galaxy S9 will come with dual speaker. It does not say about the Dolby surround right now, but we might just get that as leaked yesterday. Now for the fun stuff, the Galaxy S9 is leaked to have an emoji like feature which apparently will be more advanced than the iPhone X emojis. The name of this feature is not yet leaked and the report says that the name may only be unveiled at the launch event. According to Sam Wheel, the report also reiterates the reports about the Galaxy S9 having improved facial and iris scanner and also that the Galaxy S9 will be placed higher than its predecessor. So guys, do you remember the wireless charger leak from yesterday? That wireless charger has been leaked in pictures now. So the leak from yesterday turned out to be true. And for the news of the future, it is claimed that even the Note 9 will not come with in-display fingerprint sensor. And instead, Samsung will place fingerprint sensor at the back. The report says that Samsung has not stopped working towards in-display fingerprint sensor. It also claims that the Galaxy Note 9 will enter mass production in June and will be launched in August. It is still early to believe any rumors right now as the phone is very far out. So guys, question of the day is, do you think the benchmark difference between the Exynos and the Snapdragon variant will make a huge difference? In my case, I don't think it will affect everyday usage that much. But I would love to hear your thoughts. I hope you like this video. For upcoming content, please subscribe to this channel and do follow me on Instagram as well. This is Chetanya Snoria signing off.